Ready. Ready, steady. Okay. Yep. Hey, everybody. I'm Midge. Hi, friends, and I'm Madge. And this is another Midge and Madge Mingle. Woo, woo. It's Monday, people. It Monday. is. Monday. And I'm just triple checking. We always do. Wow. That, that right came up. out fast. I am loving this. I love it so much that it's good. It I might good. just leave it there. It is good. I love it. Let's just. It's back. That's better. <laughs> <laughs> it's back. <laughs> Nobody's mad. It I mean, works. it's going to drive me to drink, but it's okay. <laughs> it's okay. Nobody's <laughs> mad. January. Bobby Pitt. I need anyone? a haircut. Jenny, January. Jenny, Jenny hair could color. you come out today? What are you doing today? What's going on? We need hairdos. We do. Yes. Now that the honeymoon is over, it's time to book some appointments. Time to get back to work. Chop, yes. chop. Chop, chop. All right. We're super excited today. We are. Oh, look, we already have some. Peeps joining oh. and January joined. Oh, I hope you heard that. We hope that you heard that you need to come out and do our hair yeah, ASAP. She, she says that didn't curl. Yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes, indeed. Yes. Um, Janine is here. Hey, Hello. Janine. Deb is here. Hi, Deb. Hi, Deb. And I believe Lori is here. Lori, hello. And Sharon has joined oh. us. Well, hello, everyone. Hi, friends. Happy, happy Monday to you. Yes. Oh, my gosh. I can't handle it. Here, let me get, pause. This is a timeout. <laughs> Why did it just decide to start doing that right now? I mean, there nobody you know. knows. How's that? I'm going to try really hard not Here. to move my head. When you look, let's see. I'm gonna, <laughs> I want to show you in camera and see if this helps. <laughs> no. We're looking. Fine. We're just checking. It's totally fine. I When it pops back there out again. It's done. Okay. It, I, it will be fine. Happy Monday, said Sharon. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Deep breaths in and out. It is a Monday, it friends. Is. Do you guys love Mondays or do you hate Mondays? Sometimes I hate Mondays. I love Mondays for the mingle. Right. But sometimes I hate Mondays. Getting me up and moving for the week is yeah. kind of a chore. After fun-filled weekends, it's kind of hard. Yes. Yes, it was a fun-filled weekend. We had a grand old time. It was Allie's birthday, so we yes. partied like it was 1980, whatever year she was born. Yes. <laughs> yes. So many truths. She's turned 33, so whatever that is. Do the math. Yep. It's Monday. I don't want to. No. Nope. Oh, Donna's here. Hey, hey Donna. Donna. Oh, and Tori's here. You guys. Deb said she loves Mondays. <gasps> Deb. You know what? Can you rub off on Midge and I? I mean, <sighs> they're a fresh start. That's it is. good. It is. Bright and happy, and here we are. I usually just need a little extra Diet Coke and a little extra coffee on Mondays, and then I'm good. Yes. The power of caffeine. Yes. All right. Now, you guys are probably wondering what we're doing today. <laughs> And we are going to show you. But first, please, a lot of you have already stated your name or said hello. But I want to know... Um, is this your Monday morning question? Yes, it is. Okay. It is. Do you guys like to camp or do you guys like to cabin or hotel? How's that? Some people don't like eat to cabin or camp. So that's why I threw hotel in there. But wh which one do you like better? Um, that is my question. Of the day. I feel like that's not even a real question, but... Hotel shouldn't be in there. Cabin, camping. I personally like <laughs> camping a lot because... You also I need trailer. to... Spe I was just going to say, trailer camping. Yes. If I had a tent, I would take cabin. What about all you, friends? I am a camper, I guess. She's a camper. If I had a cabin, that'd be super nice. That's but... true. Deb says a hotel or a nice cabin. She likes her comforts. Yeah. Yes. Um, so many yeses to that, Deb. <laughs> Amy says she likes to camp in her glamper. Oh. I love that. Jenny yep. said she likes to camp. Jake Gillen has joined. Hello, Hi, Jake. sweet pea. Yes. Okay. Well, I like to camp. I, do, I like the, the luxury of comfort myself. I'm not going to lie. I, I have tented, and I'm not a, a fan. I'll do it <laughs> when I have to, but I would rather a trailer. Yes. And again... All the yeses to yes. that. So the reason why the question is because we have a really fun project today um, featuring Simple Stories and Zyron. Mm -hmm. Yep. And their line is Cabin Fever. So. It's perfect for like any of your summertime adventures. Yes, it actually. is. Actually. Yes, it is. And we, you don't have to just use it for camping or just for, for the cabin. And even though that's the theme, there's right. also some fun things. You can do it for hiking or just 
everyday outdoorsy. Or there are also papers in here that don't really have to do with, I don't know, I'm trying to show you all of them. Yes. But the cute flowers and this little pattern and the turquoise, the wood and the stars. Mm -hmm. so you can the see plaid. there's a lot of them that you can really, only a couple of them are necessarily camping specific. Yes. So. Yes. Yes. Okay. Oh, let's see. Um, the need said, wanting the new vintage cruiser looks like the 50s diner inside. Love camping. Ooh, that would be fun. Yes. We, yes. A vintage trailer would be fun. It sure would. A lot of work, but it would be fun. Not necessarily for camping, but just for us to have. Yes. <laughs> yes. Yeah. One of one of our she spaces. Correct. Because we love Scotty. We think Scotty's we the do. biggest trailer ever. So I mean, cute. Hold. Lucky duck. Yep, yep. Okay, so let's get Everybody? started. We, we said a little bit about what we're going to do. So, mm -hmm. um, Midge, why don't you tell us what exactly are we making today? Well, today we are just going to make these easy peasy little little mini books. Now, mm -hmm. I'm going to say you could use this for like a journal of a trip or also for like a little scrapbook mm -hmm. of anything yes. that you do this yep. summer. Yep. There are several options. You can make them however you want. And there are also, like, Madge just has little tabs on the outside, and I chose to tie mine closed. It just all depends on personal preference. But we are going to show you the base for the book, and then you get to take it from there. Yes. Yep. And um, today is probably going to be one of those days, as Midge shows you how to create this book, that I'm actually going to get up and I'm going to move the camera so you actually can see exactly what's happening and up close and personal shots of these books because I know sometimes being far away you don't really get the the detail and and um, just I don't know just how fun they really are to make and how easy they are so you're gonna see me leave in just a couple minutes I'm not leaving so don't be sad I was getting nervous <sighs> I'll still be there I'll just be behind the camera but this is basically I mean this is all it is and then you have these fun little pages in here but it really it and then we put tags inside also. So we will show you how to make the base yes. right now. Right now. Okay, and before I walk away, Tracy oh. said, what? Oh, she's Hi, Tracy. Here today. Tracy's here. She looks like she's having a really, really fun vacation. I'm just going to throw that out there. It looks so pretty where you're at. And I would really enjoy that a lot. Okay. okay. So, so I'm going go. to use the piece that has, the, I'm going to cover this up. This is like a little map on one side and this fun plaid on the back. So to start your book, you need one 12 by 12 piece of paper, and then you just go from there. Are we ready? We are ready. We're just going to fold it in half. Now just decide which way you want to fold it in half. Obviously it's a square, so it doesn't matter. Just look at your pattern and decide. And I'm not using a bone folder or anything. I just wing it. I just go with it, but you can do that. So I folded it in half one time. Now we're going to fold it in half the other way, maybe. Yes, throw Midge those hearts, those likes. We're loving it. We're getting up so, close and personal today, friends. Now you have another square. We've folded it in half, in half the other way. Now, where your seat, where your fold is, you want that to be on the right hand side. So make sure that your fold is here. This is just easier for me. You don't have to. You can flip it around when you're done. But then I have it right in my mind. <laughs> I've got to have it right in my mind, folks. So take the top half and fold it. To the seam here, flip the whole square over and fold this edge over to the seam. And there you have your book. Ta da! Ta da! So, Madge, do you want to come back? Come back, Madge, come back! Well, I want you to show your the books up close and personal. Okay. Just All right, like because then, the done one? Yes, because sometimes photos are a little hard to capture every single piece. Okay. All right, so this is your cover, and I chose to tie mine closed. So in this front flap right here, I just use my Xyron tape runner, and I did it on both sides, and just put in a little piece of jute, and then sealed it closed. And that is how we get this tie closure. And then do the exact same thing on the back. And the tape runner holds it just fine. Just press it together and it holds it just fine. So then you can decorate. And we'll show you some of the papers close up. Or Madge can do close up in a second. But they have all these little fun uh, like journaling cards in the paper pack. 
So just decorate how you want. And these are some of the stickers. So we have a cover and then open up and you can do other little mini flip outs on the inside. And in each of the creases, I put different little tags and just more. Oh, this little tag fell down in there. These are the, what are these called? File tabs. Mm -hmm. File tabs that come as stickers. And then more little tags. And then the back cover. And we just, for the effect, we just always, on the inside, fold this edge down just for a different look. But you don't have to do that if you don't want to. And then another little pop out and tag. And I can show you Madge's book also. It's just different takes on it. So she didn't tie hers closed, but she did use the Xyron tape runner to put these little tabs in. And then that's how we also adhered everything that wasn't a sticker. All of our little journal cards or extra pieces of paper that we put in, we just used the Xyron tape runner. And these are little stickers. Madge has these cute fold outs and her tags. Oh, look at that, cute. And like I said, you could use these for mini, like with pictures, mini scrapbooks, or you could just use them to journal things in about your trip. But they're super easy, but this is the perfect paper pack to do these with. And like I said, the Xyron tape runner also works perfectly. You can see everything is adhered down really well. Even my ties are in tight. And it's perfect. Perfect. So okay, come so back gonna, to me, Madge. I'm gonna come back to you. I'm gonna just show this close up of this particular item here. Okay. And then Okay. And then I'm do you gonna, want me to hold it up to yes, you or do you want yes. okay. how about you hold it up? Yep. So these are all of the papers. And then you can see the journal card sheets down here and the fun the whole sheet of the sticker accessories. And I can hold that up, but we've used a few of them. But simple stories cabin fever is what we were working with. Okay. And it's super fun. And like I said, everything you guys can see, I'm sure you can see when, when it was up close, everything is stuck down really well. And you can go super crazy with this or you can leave them a little bit more plain, whatever you wanna do. But you have so many options because these papers mix and match so well. And Madge is coming back and she's gonna add in whatever she wants to add in. Baby, come back. And you can use also, um, if you wanted to, you could even like hook the back. You could use your tape runner if you want to like close the book a little bit more. But we like ours to be able to accordion. You get a better look at them that way. Yes. Um, the only thing that I was going to add is that if you wanted to make it um, a little bit bigger, like maybe have a couple more pages, you can just do it again, but just adhere. Yeah, like, to, to this flat part, like make two and then you would have a double thick. A double so you'd have a couple more pages. If, if that's something that you wanted to do, you could do that. And then I would for sure, for sure recommend that you have a closure because it does like to, because it's an accordion fold. Uh -huh. Of course it's gonna open up. Yes. So that's the only thing that I would like to add other than um, I did notice a couple of comments. Oh, um, and sorry, I couldn't. No, you're okay. I, I can't do more than one thing at a time. What do you want from yes, me? Yes, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. <laughs> so uh, Michelle is saying, hey lady, ladies. Hi Michelle. Donna said, very cool, so cute. Rhonda said, hello, sunshines. Hey, Rhonda. Hi, Rhonda. And um, Sharon said, the folded edge looks like a sleeping bag. Oh, yeah. That's super I didn't even cute. think about that. Yes. And Stephanie says, hi, cool ladies. Sorry I'm late. Hey, better late than never. Right. We love that. Right. And sweet Stacy Hall has joined us today. <gasps> hi, Stacy. Stacy, we miss your face. Are you ever going to make a trip to Utah? Really? Come on now. We may make a trip to Lava, but we don't know when. But we'll keep you We posted. will let you know yes. if and when we get it on the books. Yes. So anyway, yeah, we're loving our little albums. And as you saw, Mitch, I mean, I added a little picture here. And you can do your tags, you guys. You can do the front and the backs if you want. But like Midge had said, you can use it as a journal. You can do it as a, a maybe a, uh, I don't know, scavenger hunt notebook or something. Mm -hmm. Or you could do some scavenger hunt things in there. Or just if you are on a fun trip or you're out in the wilderness or whatever, just use a page a day and just write the things you saw and did so yeah. that you don't forget. That's one thing that we have decided we want to be better about, yes. our travel journals. Yes. Because we go to these fun places and then we forget, like, the name you or when we were there. Remember. Yep. And you don't. You don't. And you know, so, you think we would learn because when we went to Ireland, <sighs> there was a gal that she did. She sat and wrote everything down and we were like, you're crazy. No. We she really wish that we would have done that. We should have been more like her. 
we thought we would remember it all, and now we have all of this memorabilia. Is that the correct word? Yes. But we don't exactly remember which pictures go with which, and dang it. Yeah. Journaling's important, friends. So I guess we have to go again so we can write it down. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, husbands. Yep. Sorry about yep. that. Yep. But, and I have to stress one more time. This is all we used, people. This and this. Yep. And it. the little juke, the if little we juke. wanted to. Mm -hmm. You know, you can ink around your corners, <laughs> but that is it. And, you know, bam. Bam. Bang for your buck. Right there. Sure is. Sure <laughs> is. Super simple, but super fun. And, you guys, we love how easy it is. The ease of this is something that you can make or your kids actually can make their own. Yeah. Another, we love to do things that consume a little bit of the kids' time. Yes. <laughs> I'm sure you've noticed that by now. Yes. But yes. Yes. Anything we can do to keep them busy, busy. Hi, Miss Deb. Oh, Tracy, I bet you do Miss Deb. And I think Deb misses Tracy. Yes. Me too. They're kind they're, of like Midge and Madge. They are. But they're Tracy and Deb. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yes, they are. That is a 100% true <laughs> statement. It is. It is. <laughs> And we met them at CHA, well, the new show name, I don't know. It's, it's changed. It's changed so many times. I still call it CHA half the time. Yes. I think it's AFCI now or something. Correct. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Yes, that's it. Yes. And I'm telling you, those two ladies are kicking the pants. If you don't follow them, you need to follow them. Yes. And they are so, so, so talented. Both of them. Amazingly right. talented. If you want to throw your links in, ladies, feel free. Yes. <laughs> yep. Oh, and I need to say, announcement, my oh. shirt of the day beep, says, beep, 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 beep. not to be rude, but I don't really care, like, at all. And that's the shirt for the day. That's the shirt of the day. I said I was going to do it. Madge kind of, I thought, said she was going to, too, but she looks cute every day, and I have on a graphic tee, so that's fine. <laughs> I'm just puzzled right now. I don't even know what to say other than... I'm sorry, I will for sure next week have one on next Monday. Perfect, because that's all I can say to that. However, I do want to point out, people, <laughs> if you break your fingernail, I know this has nothing to do with anything, but I just need to say this. We get off topic a lot. If you break your nail and it gets a little air under it, and you know, you do dishes and things, and then I'm you decide... I'm very sorry because you're getting some... Oh, okay. Go for it. And you decide, you know what, I better super glue that nail back down till it's my nail appointment time. People don't do it. If you've washed your finger, if you've washed your hands after it's lifted, don't do it because I don't know if you can see this. It's a little far away. Mold, mold, people. My nail fell off, and I have mold on my nail. My nail lady is not going to be happy with me. So, out of all of our viewers today, or if you are watching the replay, does anyone know how to get rid of fungusy mold on the fingernail? Yes, go to Walgreens and get the thing that says fungi nail. Well, maybe she should have said that before. I represented my fingernail fungus fungus all over Facebook Live. Today. You didn't ask me. Well, I should have, because I forget she's the big bucket of knowledge. Well, sometimes. Yet again, there it is. There it is. Oh, mold is toxic, right? Stay says. It sure is. Just another toxic quality. Yep. yep. <laughs> oh, and Stephanie is loving your hair. Well, my word. Hey, thanks so much. It needs to, it does need to have a little bit of a trim, but thanks. Dadeen says this is perfect because her grandson is at camp this week, so this will be perfect. Oh, yes. And Sharon likes that it's gender, gender neutral because they are. And what's great about these is, too, this isn't just a, like, summertime or camping thing. Think of, like, all the possibilities with all the papers out there. Mm -hmm. And Simple Stories has lots and lots of cute themed lines. Mm -hmm. Darn So... You got to give a shout out to Simple Stories because we really love them. They they even have some that um, how do I put this? But it's a place that we all want to go, and it's the greatest place on earth theme. Is that what <laughs> yes, basically, S basically, and it, they're really super cute themed. Mm -hmm. So if you are into a man with black ears and a woman with a cute bow and black ears. <laughs> Then you need to I love how you're going too. about this. And I'm just going to say, hi, Kevin and Amber and Jody and Sue. Yes! There. Hey, hey! Hi, guys. Yep. And, yeah. But there are a lot, and not just, that is another fabulous 
destination journal yes, that you could is. that you could do. But they have so many key lines. Yes, they do. And they're always so perfectly coordinated with their little accessories that you can get. So mm -hmm. embellishments, embellies. Yep. Did, did you show these cute stickers? I did, but please do it again. Oh. Uh, and I know we've used a lot of them, but they get the idea. And go back in the video. We did a close up of yes the pictures, so you can see everything yep, that did. was in there. Yep. Awesome. Okay. Oh. Lucy says, you guys are pretty like she remembers before we moved. Oh, Thanks, Lucy, Luz. we love you, sweet little Lulu. She's not little anymore, I though. Know. She was little when she moved. She, yeah. Yep, time for a visit. Yep, it is, <laughs> because that means I'm getting old. Thanks. Susan's going to make one at Crop this weekend. Oh, I love that. Yes. You know what, we would love it if you, when you make it. Pope, uh, tag us. Yes. Because we would love to see that and we will share it on our, our social media sites. Yeah, you guys, that. anytime you do anything that's even kind of like this or any project that you'd like to share with us, share yeah, and share we'll it. share it. We'll share it too. Because sharing is caring. caring. Yep, sure is. <laughs> it sure is. And I don't know if you guys have realized there's a big campaign going around right now. Oh, I oh. have to say how to Christian. Thanks, Hi, Christian. Christian. <laughs> How you doing, buddy? Um, there's a big campaign going around right now about um, crafting the crafting community and um, like sharing and showing the love and trying to keep the negativity to a minimum. Yes. Or nil. Yeah. Yeah. Not have any. Yeah. So if you see something that you like, you guys just you know like just send out a like or or do a little quick comment because it, it is karma and it all comes back around. Yes. And also, you know what, It you never know when you're gonna make somebody's day. So just the littlest heart, the littlest like. I was gonna say, just the little boost can really, you wouldn't believe what it can do for somebody's day. So yes. Yes. share, like, love, all that good yes. stuff. Yes, not just in the crafty community, everywhere. Yeah. Everywhere, so. We're keeping Christian and his buddies entertained at work on their lunch break. Well, my word. <laughs> I bet you're super entertained, guys. Yes. <laughs> my word. We're, we're pretty up much. We're awesome. We're the cat's meow today. Oh. Meow. But anyway. Yep. <laughs> yep. Gotta love it. Okay. Does so, anybody have any other questions? If or? you guys have any questions, yeah, we would do our best to answer them. Yes. Or please go take a look at Simple Story site and always check out um, the projects that the Zyron team is doing with Simple Stories all week long on the all Facebook page. And Instagram. Yep. Do it, do it. Yep. If you haven't already liked, like Midge just said, go go like Simple Stories and, and tell them that Midge and Madge sent you. Yes. Do it, please. And as always, you should definitely like the Zyron page because it's always chock full of good projects. Always. always and always. you guys, look. It's amazing. This amazing little tool can do big things. It can. It can. And you guys, you could oh, actually... it was upside down. Sorry. Oh, there you go. <laughs> she is representing. She's representing. Yes. So, again, if you're watching the replay or just catching us now, be sure to watch the whole thing. Midge takes you step by step in how to make this really super cute mini album or journal, whatever you would like to call it or whatever you would like to have it be. And don't forget, it is like a double because you can insert tags in every page because even the inside pages you can put stuff in. Mm -hmm. And then we have our tags up here. And there are different ways. Like this one is just a square piece of paper, well, rectangle that we stuck in there. Or some of them have rounded corners. Madge cut cute tags and did, do you want to pull out a tag? Yep. And did the, you know, the original tag with the loop closure. So yep. anything is possible with these guys. Yep, yep. And you could never run out of options with these because mm -hmm. you could never run out of paper. Nope. These would be super fun in a little basket with lots of different themes. And you guys, be creative. Just take a piece of paper and fold it and make your own little, more little folds. You could fit, um, fit some little pictures in here or some mm -hmm. more little fun journaling. So, yeah. Yep. Get creative and, and do it. Do it, do it. Do it. Okay, and join us Wednesday because we're going to have a little bonus mingle this week on Wednesday. Yes. Bonus mingle. And you're not going to want to miss it because it's going to be super fun. Because it's always super fun. With Midge and Match. <laughs> How did you like that little, Ooh. you know, we like to advertise ourselves a lot throughout our, our Facebook lives. Thank you, Deneen. You have an awesome day too. And yes. do we need to do a freeze frame really quick? We, we do. We, ha we love our freeze frames. Okay. And we'll do I it. think it works perfectly every time. I love it. Are you ready? And... Mm. And let's see. Oh, I need my fungus now hidden <gasps> behind oh my the gosh, paper. I can't believe you keep saying that. I'm losing it right now. Okay. Okay. And and what I love it. I love it so much too. <laughs> yep. Okay. So 
Last reminder, go check out Simple Stories, like their Facebook page. As always, please like the Zyron page. Tell everyone that Midge and Madge sent you. Everyone. Everyone. Around the world. And make sure you have a super good week and join us again on Wednesday. Wednesday's the day. Wednesday, Wednesday, Wednesday. All right. Okay. All right. Peace out, home skillets. Have a fabulous week.